Welcome to Brilliant Care. As mentioned in the last video, today we are here to discuss about the latest trends in the job market. The world has witnessed changes in the job market with the rise of AI. So today, I am here to discuss about the most demanding jobs that you can expect in 10 years of time. With this video, Brilliant helps the students to understand what kind of profession or career they have to select in the upcoming years. So in my list, the first future-proof job is Prompt Engineer. You all might have already heard about this particular job profile. Now this is something relatively newer one and let me explain why. To get really helpful responses from AI, you need to be able to communicate with it. Otherwise, it will fetch you inaccurate and irrelevant results. So you need to be very clear with your questions. And there is actually a profession called prompt engineer who are professionals who know how to write the accurate queries for AI and optimize its work to get the desired results. It is one of the highest paid jobs which we can see in the coming future. The next job in my list is sustainability specialist. Environmental and sustainable development is a global trend and is becoming more and more popular. We are going to go all electric very soon. You all have seen all the electric cars that are coming these days. So a sustainability specialist designs and implement sustainable policies and practices within corporations. And it will be one of the most demanding job in 10 years from now. The third job in my list is mental health counselors. According to the World Health Organization, globally, one out of every four people will be impacted by mental illness at some point in their lives. 35 million people worldwide suffer from depression. So we see a higher demand for mental health specialists. And there are also a lot of new AI tools, as you know, which will help us to uh, cope up with our mental illness. But in the next coming five years, these mental health counselors are going to have a great demand in the labor market. So please keep this job profile in your mind if you are interested in dealing fields like psychology and human behavior. Renewable energy engineer. This might sound new to you, but it is the next job in my list. The renewable energy sector is experiencing a significant growth these years. Renewable energy engineers are involved in project planning, whether it is small scale projects or large scale projects. And this is going to be one of the most futuristic jobs that you can expect. The next job in my list is business intelligence analysts. Business intelligence analysts take raw business data and they translate their findings into dashboard tables and reports. These reports enable companies' decision makers to leverage this intelligence to drive more profits and business effectiveness. And it will be one of the most paid jobs in the future. The next one in my list is information security and cyber security engineer. You have surely heard that data is the new oil. In fact, a lot of people say that companies who own data are going to win in the next 10 years and companies who don't are going to lose. So think about that. If you're building a business, the most valuable thing we have in the 21st century is our personal data and information. And of course, as the number of data breaches are increasing day by day and the number of cyber crimes is increasing exponentially, people and companies want to protect their data and hire a cybersecurity professional. So this is something which will interest you if you have an interest in computer science and data engineering. Now, the next one is my personal favorite. You all have heard about robotic engineers. So I'm very excited about robots. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I have seen robots, you know, who helps you in your household, performing all the duties. And just imagine having someone do your laundry, cooking for you, do all the cleaning, and it's a robot. And you know, you don't have to pay. All you have to do is just a one-time investment where you buy the robot and the robot is going to do all the work for you. So with the rise of robots, we will need more and more engineers to help program them. 
Tesla is already testing its robotic housekeeper and Elon Musk recently said that people will have to get used to living with the robots. Robotics is developing in all areas from surgery to floor cleaning, laundry. In every aspect of your life, you will see that a robot will be there in the next 10 years. So robotic engineers will have a huge demand in the next 10 years. I have seen most of my students if I ask them what they want to be in future, I have noticed that majority of them tell that they want to pursue a career in computer science. Software engineers of all kinds will be in high demand in the next five to 10 years. There is a huge variety of software engineers and they will be in demand in the future as more and more technologies develop and people who will support this development are needed to create websites, applications, new services, products, so if you have any doubts about the future of software engineering, don't doubt it. Yes, if you are a manual tester, you will have a tough time for sure in this job. But I have talked to some of the specialists in this field and I have seen that what you have to do now is if you want to stay in this field and if you want to flourish in this field, you have to learn how to make a code that's going to find mistakes in the code for you. So software engineering, is one of the most promising career in the next coming years. Now we are approaching our top five high paying professions and in number five I have AI and automation consultant. As I mentioned new AI services are popping up every day and entrepreneurs can keep up with this development. Of course companies can continue to spend millions of dollars in human labor because they simply don't know that AI can do that particular job. But this realization will definitely come in the future and most of the companies are going to automate all their tasks and remove manual labor. You all might have heard about the recent setbacks that happened to many of the employees in different tech giant companies. So an AI consultant analyzes a structure of a company and proposes strategies for optimization through the implementation of new technologies and AI. So basically, you have to be really good at understanding what AI can do these days and what type of problems it can solve for companies. And thus you will be able to make a huge amount of money as an AI consultant. Number four in my list is extended reality developers and designers. You have likely seen people wearing the new Apple Vision Pro glasses that have just recently come out. And yes, they are very expensive and bulky now, but just like personal computers, I'm sure we will move very quickly from the first uncomfortable prototype that we have to the point where almost everyone will have virtual reality glasses. So both the designers and developers will need to adopt their skills to the new market needs. So these people work with the designers and artists and create those experimental prototypes, develop new visualization and effects. And these kind of job profiles are going to attract a lot of money in the job market. So do keep in mind that there is a huge demand coming up for extended reality developers and designers. On number three, data analysts and data scientists. As I mentioned, data is created every single day and the amount of data that we have is growing really fast and the pace is only accelerating and of course, everyone from government to small business want to make data driven decisions so that people who can analyze and get insights from big data will be valued with a very high pay scale. So data analysts and data scientists, this is one of the top highly paid job that you're going to see in the near future. Number two, we have AI ethicist. Really, there are a lot of debates and disagreements around the ethics and responsibility of AI. When ChatGPT was launched, majority of the people opposed or they had debated on the implementation of AI and what are the demerits of AI. Hence, we have this new profession. Many believe that the development of artificial intelligence should be stopped and slowed down for the sake of human safety. Scientists and entrepreneurs argue and cannot reach a consensus, but one way or the another way, it's clear that AI ethicists will be in great demand in the very near future. 
as an AI ethicist, approximately you can make around one one lakh fifty thousand US dollars per year. Number one in my list, and well. They are kind of connected with AI, but not really number one profession that you should be looking at is a doctor or a healthcare worker. And the thing is, the healthcare industry is still one of the fastest growing industry and expected to add the most number of jobs in the next 10 years. As a population, we are getting older, we live longer, thus we have more diseases, thus we need more doctors, we need different kinds of caregivers such as public health workers, case managers, patient advocates. So whatever be the profession in healthcare industry, apart from the fact that it is going to make you financially stable, you are getting a sort of self-satisfaction from the service you are doing. So in my top list, healthcare industry is in number one. So my dear children, let me ask you a quick question. How do you think you are going to decide your career? Who is going to direct you or who is going to help you to take the decision? Let me know your comments in the comment box. And I want to see what is the deciding factor that help you to decide your career. Let me add on one very important point. Our career selections should not be based on a third party, be it our friends or parents or relatives. You have to understand the selection of a career is one of the most crucial step in your life because we spent two by third of our life in our career. So some students say that they select the career based on the passion. But let me tell you, selecting a career solely based on passion can sometimes be limiting because Passions can evolve over time. What you are passionate about now may not necessarily align with your long-term goals or provide stability and growth opportunities in the future. Additionally, some passions may not translate into viable career options or may not be financially sustainable. And moreover, focusing solely on passion may overlook other important factors such as skills, market demand, job availability and personal values. A more balanced approach that considers multiple factors including your interests, the skills that you have, the market trends and personal values. This can lead to a more fulfilling and sustainable career choice. So Team Brilliant, in Brilliant Care, we are extending our help on this matter. We have an in-house career assessment session where we can analyze each and every child's aptitude and help you understand where or what is the alignment of the child's aptitude towards a particular field. We have our great number of alumni students who are now placed in the top most industries. We will be coming up with their videos, their webinars and sessions like this. So keep subscribing to our YouTube channel and follow us in all our social media to stay updated. So if you have any queries, do let me know in the comment box. Thank you all. See you in my next video.